Okay, friends, this is definitely a winner. It's one of the best things I think I've made in a long time. It's absolutely delicious. So stay tuned and see how I made this absolutely wonderful sausage spinach lasagna soup. You're not going to want to miss it. Hello, friends, and welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be making some delicious sausage lasagna soup. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to spray my pan. Now you can use whatever sausage you want. Stop and Shop had these al fresco roasted pepper and Asiago cheese chicken sausage on sale. So I got them in this flavor. They had all different flavors. I got this flavor and of course I got jalapeno pepper flavor. But we're going to use these for today. And these are actually three points each. So I'm going to cook them. And then I'm going to, after I make my soup, I'm just going to cut up one at a time and put it when I eat a bowl of soup. So this way I know I have three points of sausage in my soup. So we're just going to get all these sausages in here. And we're going to get them nice and cooked up. And there's four sausages. So I'll be getting four nice, healthy bowls of soup out of this recipe. So I'm just going to fry these up. Then in my mini chopper here, I have one small onion and like three big cloves of garlic that I'm just going to chop up. Like so. Put that to the side for now. Lower that a little bit. So I'm just going to get these all cooked up and then I'll show you the next step. Okay, so I cut one of my sausages open to make sure that it's fully cooked. Because again, these are chicken. So I'm just going to remove them. Chevy, please. Every time I put the camera on, I don't know. He must have like a, a radar. I'm just going to spray my pan again a little bit. I'm going to dump in my onions and my garlic. Shabby. Come here, good boy. I'm just going to cook this for about a minute just to get it nice and translucent. And I didn't want to uh, wash out my pan because I wanted that flavor from the sausage in there. Now here I have one can of Hunt's 100% natural crushed tomatoes. When I scanned this in the supermarket, it's zero points. Even if I put in 20 servings, it's zero points. So you want to find a crushed tomato. If you can't find the Hunt's, that is zero points. You don't want any points in your soup. I'm just going to dump that in. Now 
Then I'm going to add about three quarters of a can of water. Because don't forget, we're not making a spaghetti sauce, we're making a soup. So I want it to be like a tomato base soup, but to taste more like it's good, like it's mimicking a lasagna. I had a half of a big tomato that was left in my refrigerator from when I had a, a turkey sandwich yesterday. So I just chopped that up. I'm going to add that. If you don't have it, don't worry about it. I'm just going to add some salt. That's about two teaspoons. I'm going to add a little bit of black pepper. Just season to taste. If you think it needs more later, you can add more. But just a little salt and pepper for now. And we're just going to let this cook down so that the onions and the garlic and everything is all nice and soft. And those onions and that garlic, like I said, three big cloves, is really going to flavor this up. All going to be adding other stuff to this, but I just want this to cook down first. Mm. It's already delicious just with salt, pepper, onion, and garlic. Delish. So I'm going to let this simmer for about 15 to 20 minutes. Okay, so this has been simmering for about a half hour, actually. And it smells divine. As you can see, the water line went down a little bit because um, it's condensing. So I'm just going to add a little bit more water. Because again, this is a soup. It's not a spaghetti sauce. Now, the next thing I'm going to add is I have some curly leaf spinach, and it's triple washed, so I don't feel like I have to wash it. And I'm just going to tear some leaves and throw in some spinach. Because after all, I have put spinach in my lasagna, so why not? Adds extra iron and vitamins to your soup. Absolutely delicious. And that's going to wilt down really, really quick. Now the next thing I'm going to add is some fresh basil leaves. Because I want that flavor of the basil to be in there. If you don't like basil, you don't have to put it in. You can add maybe some oregano or something. Just a little, and I'll use more for garnish when I set up my bowl. A little bit more spinach. You guys, this is going to be so delicious. Now listen, when you see how many points it's going to be with everything else that I'm putting in... Because right now, all of this is zero points. But I'm going to be putting some lasagna noodles, the sausage, mozzarella cheese, parmesan, ricotta, ricotta, however you want to say it. And it's going to bump up the points per bowl. And I'm going to assemble my bowls separately when, I, when I'm ready to eat them. So I'm just going to do one bowl at a time. But, um, because I had a zero point breakfast and for my dinner tonight is only going to be, um, four points for my dinner. And then my 
what do you call it? My snack. I haven't decided actually. I have jello. I have a few things. I gotta see what I want to do for a snack, a dessert for tonight. But I know with my breakfast and my dinner that those two are so low in points that because this is so high in points, actually, it's uh it's gonna be all worth it. So don't get distressed when you see how many points it is but you don't have to add all the other stuff I'm adding actually so right now this is like a tomato soup and it's zero points so if you just wanted to do a tomato soup that's fine you could do it with a grilled cheese or put throw some croutons on it you know eat it like that but I'm gonna let this simmer for about another 10 minutes and then we are going to assemble the soup, so you don't want to miss it. Stay tuned. Okay, friends, it is assembly time. I am so excited for this meal, you have no idea. So I have a nice, big, deep bowl here. Because don't forget, all of this soup, the actual soup, is zero points. So I'm just going to load this up. I have another can of these tomatoes, so I can always add more. Make another batch, I mean, if I don't get four servings from my enough sausage that I have. So now here is one of the sausages cut up. Three points for that. I'm just going to put that in. Then I have here, where is my... Boom. So now I have here, let me just mix that. Oh my God. I would just eat it just like that. But since this is a lasagna soup, we're putting it up huge a notch. Now this is two ounces of cooked lasagna noodles, which the noodles are, get ready. Don't fall off your chairs six points and it's two ounces of noodles you could put one ounce but like I said I'm doing a very very low point dinner and I did a zero point one uh, breakfast so now that that's in now I have my pecorino romano cheese two teaspoons is one point so we're just gonna put one put that on yummo now this is the off the block mozzarella reduced fat and i have a half an ounce i weighed it on the scale and that's one point and we're just gonna put that like so Now I have a couple of these beautiful basil leaves for decoration so I could take my picture. And then I have here, this is the part skim ricotta. And I have here three quarters of an ounce. I weighed it on the scale. And we're just gonna set that in the middle. Mm -mm -mm. I just want to clean up this bowl a little bit. That annoys me. And there you have the most beautiful sausage lasagna soup. Look at that, you guys. Tell me that doesn't look fantastic. Let's give it a little taste. Oh my God. So simple, just that can of tomatoes, onions, garlic, salt, pepper, basil, the fresh basil, fresh spinach. Absolutely outstanding. And then you get those beautiful sausages in there and the mozzarella cheese. I just want a couple of sausages in my pitcher without trying to mess up my bowl. Let's stick another one there. And there you have it, my friends. 
So the points for this bowl of soup, which I'm obsessed with, is three, four, five, six, seven, eight, is 12 points. So like I said, yes, sounds like a lot, but it's absolutely delicious. And you can totally do it on the Weight Watchers plan with having a zero point breakfast, a very low point dinner, and then a reasonable snack. So there you have it, you guys. I am going to enjoy this lunch. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in. Thursday, I am going to be making a wonderful cop Weight Watchers copycat milkshake, like from Wendy's. And you won't believe it's so low in points. Make sure you check in with me on Thursday when you see that video get uploaded. Absolutely delicious dessert. It's going to be huge and only for five points. So you're not going to want to miss that. So happy to be back on Weight Watches. I'm really enjoying this. And if you're new here, please hit that subscription button. Please hit the notification bell. And if you like what I'm eating for lunch today, please give me a big thumbs up. It's absolutely delicious. A must try. All right, guys. I'll see you all on Thursday in the next video. Everybody have a great rest of your day. And I love you all. Bye-bye.